here we go again. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, spectacular. Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to successfully run a museum and how to make profit from running a museum with the Black Market Expansion Pack. So I created a character for this purpose. Her name is Wendy and she's starting out with 1.2 million. This is her finance. I'm currently married to a rich man. The museum property cost 5 million. I think in all, in anywhere, any country I live in, I think it's 5 million. So I have 1 million and I'm going to be turning this 1 million into 5 million so I can buy a museum and start displaying collectibles. So first of all, I'm going to go into the auction house and try to participate in an auction. I can't participate in a storage unit auction yet because I need to have experience and to get experience I need to participate in auction houses. So I'm going to participate in this auction and bid. Try to bid for like the lowest amount, not the lowest amount but make sure you reduce it because you don't want to spend all your money. So the current bid is 8, 824,000 which is more than I have so I'm going to pass and then I'm going to try to bid in this other auction house. The price of this is 21,000 so I'm going to bid for this and I'm going to reduce the price to like 23,000 and I won it so the auction has ended. Someone is offering to buy it for me for 15,000. I'm going to decline the person's offer. I'm also going to go into the black market so I can purchase this st some stolen antiques. Let's purchase this. Whenever you get something from the auction house or from the black market, always appraise the item because you can't put it on display in your museum if it's not appraised. I got this Shang Dynasty Anfu for 23000 and it's worth 39000 which is a bit above what I bought it for. So let's appraise this pocket watch. I like sticking with the auction houses because the auction houses actually sell original items that I know of. They sell authentic items. So this is a diamond pickaxe. I can't afford this. I'm going to pass. A stoneware jug. I'm going to participate in this because I need the experience. So I want the auction for 5000 and I have that. This is a Ferrari. I can't afford it. So let's do this in 1997, whatever this is. So let's bid, it, bid for it for 367 and I want that. I'm going to appraise the items I the items I won. I got it for 367 and it is worth 712. So I've been invited to join the storage unit auction, which is exactly what I've been waiting for. The reason I have been waiting for this storage unit auction is because you can get a storage unit for as low as like 50,000 or 100,000. You might not get anything valuable and it might just be a waste of money but other times you actually get an item that is worth millions. I'm going to participate in one that belongs to a discord moderator. So I'm bidding for it for 94,000. Oh, I need to bid for it for let's say 174. So I won it and it's time to see what is inside. I hope it, there's actually something valuable inside. While cleaning out the storage unit contents, you discovered something hidden behind some junk, Romeo and Juliet. So let's see how much Romeo and Juliet costs. It's a first edition copy of Romeo and Juliet and costs 69000 which isn't actually worth much. So I'm going to sell one of my cars just because I'm running out of money. I think I want to sell this Rolls Royce. Maybe I should take the offer just because I need the money. Oh, my husband passed away. Let's plan his funeral. So I'm going to donate his body to science. Wait, I don't know why we are in debt. Is this a glitch? Wow, this is crazy. This is a crazy glitch. So let's participate. I just spent all that doing what? So while cleaning out the storage unit contents you want in the auction, you discovered something hidden behind some junk. I think this is a, a painting. It better be worth much because I have just 10,000 to my name. So I'm going to get it appraised. And it is worth 90 million. Nice. So this is actually a great start. So let me try to sell this off so I can purchase a museum. And I just sold it. So now I'm going to buy a museum. 
apply f now i'm going to buy with cash because i think there's the apply for a mortgage option is buggy so i named my museum wendy's i'm not going to buy the north wing or the west wing yet i'm going to put everything up in the main wing and then start building out the others so let's put everything i own not everything i own because it's just six slots i'm going to have everything cleaned let's actually attend another auction so a golden railroad spike let's participate in this i'm going to reduce this to one two and i want it this is another way to make money like after participating in an auction someone can walk up to you and offer to pay more for the item you just won so i'm going to accept it so i profited two million from that i don't care about how much it costs so let's um so the gross exhibit value is 194 so i'm going to increase the price to 15 and then i'm going to age to see how i did so my monthly revenue is 350,000, and i only spent 4,000. so that's actually good so i started with 1 million and i'm currently at 16 million so let's go for another storage unit auction let's bid maybe 162 time to find out what is inside so a wagner card i paid 160 for this so that card better worth a lot so let me get it appraised and it is worth 5 million so this is what i'm saying try to work out as possible to make it into a storage unit auction it's sometimes you might not get something valuable but when you get something valuable it's always of really high value Let's just get some more items so I can display it and then I'm going to open another ring. So um, I've gotten some items that of high value so I'm going to expand and build the north wing. So I'm going to pay with cash and then I'm going to display my possessions. I got this Jane Austen's writing desk and I'm also going to add um, let's add them um, Kobe Bryant's autographed basketball this wagner card that i got from the storage unit auction and let me add um, i got this vehicle from a storage unit auction too i don't have anything else to add so let me clean everything so i'm also going to increase the price of my tickets i'm going to increase it to let's say 25 and then i'm going to age so my monthly revenue is 822 and my monthly expenses is 16 thousand so that's actually okay i'm currently worth 45 million after starting with 1 million even though i got into debt with that so let's go shopping let's participate in another auction this is really high the thing about paying so much for a storage unit is that you don't actually know if you're going to get something of high value there or you're just going to get trash see i spent 1.6 million and i didn't get anything of value but that's fine because i have enough money to cover that so i got this for 800 i don't know why i tried to outbid that person let's add the rose rush to the north wing so um i've opened the main and the north wing so i'm going to come back when i've opened everything and hopefully by then i'll actually be worth 100 million so i'm just going to keep aging and going for storage unit auctions and then normal auctions i don't want to go to the black market because the black market items are stolen and you can actually get caught by the police so i'm 37 years old and i have 76 million in my bank balance but i'm worth 100 million i think i'm worth about 200 million this is what my museum is looking like i have a total value of 254 million i have eye traffic and i have um five wings 29 exhibit i think there's a wing without an exhibit the west wing it doesn't have an exhibit so i'm just going to go shopping i'm going to buy a yacht okay i need a license that's why it's three so i'm going to purchase this yacht and slice of life and i'm going to display it in my museum in the west wing vehicle slice of life i got for four million and it is worth five million in my museum so my museum price is 45 dollars per entry so i have 30 exhibits and the gross exhibit value is 254 and my i think there's an estimated okay my annual revenue is 28 million 
I'm going to advise that you actually get items from the auction auction houses because if you go to the black market and you buy something from like the art thief the art thief is a scam okay she is a scam I've lost a lot of money to the art thief because after purchasing an artwork I go and appraise it and I see that it's actually a fake artwork that I got for like 36 million but it is actually worth 900 dollars you can also pull like cars but I think cars and boats and all those vehicles they have um, a high maintenance value like you need a lot of money to maintain it so that is actually going to increase your expenses and you don't want to you don't want your expenses to go that high once you get a high value item from the storage unit auction if you don't have enough money to open a museum you can go ahead and sell the item you got from the storage unit auction and then you can use that as your capital to start to open the museum once you've opened the museum you already have the main wing so you can add the items you've been collecting once the six slots are full then you can go ahead to open the north wing fill that up open the south fill that up open the west fill that up open the east fill that up you can go ahead to open a second floor so the key to making money from this is going to storage unit auctions normal auctions and just you know getting items from there and putting them in your museum and also you need to increase the price of your tickets gradually increase the price of your tickets so your audience don't complain complain about your museum being overpriced so you can start by increasing from 10 to 25 to 35 and then finally to 45 the higher the value of the items in your museum the higher your revenue but make sure you do not put a high value vehicle because that is just going to increase your expenses i filled all my wings so i just have to add a second floor but i'm not going to do that now i'm going to age and see how much i'm making per month and then i'm going to see how much it adds to my bank balance and then i'm also going to go ahead and open a second floor so i've just been going for storage unit auctions normal auctions and i also visited the art i said i wasn't going to buy items from the art thief because she the art thief always ends up selling counterfeit items but art are expensive and they actually bring more traffic to your museum because they're expensive that in turn increases your revenue because the higher the value of the items in your museum the more people are going to come to your museum i don't know but that's just what i've noticed so currently my net worth is 364 million let's see if we can get to 1 billion five minutes later yo yo i was attacked with a bow and arrow and because i refused to sell an item that i got from an auction and the person shot my nose through but i died with a net worth of 737 million at age 45 which is actually a lot i don't have any children that i can that i that can inherit my money so i'm just leaving all this money to the united states government i was hoping to achieve one billion but my life was cut short i don't like the black market aspect it's not as fun as i thought it would be but the museum aspect is actually very cool and with that i used the museum to turn one million into 737 million which is really huge so all i did was i started by going to auctions like participating in auctions the key is to participate in storage unit auctions because that's where the money is at you can get a high value item at a storage unit auction for as low as hundred thousand dollars the storage unit auction is just like it's like a gamble because you're not actually sure you're going to get something of high value to participate in a storage unit auction you need to have the experience which is by participating in normal auctions so go to normal auctions and always reduce the price to like a little bit higher than the lowest because you don't want to spend all your money bidding for something that is not even worth up to that amount i was able to make um 740 or 730 million in 25 years because i think i started at 18 and i died at 45 so that's like 23 years i see that as a win because i did actually enjoy the gameplay so i hope this is going to help you with becoming a very good museum owner and making millions and billions from it thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye